What's up guys? So, hard at work, just had a customer call and uh, about his brakes, he's having some brake noises, so I told him to head on down, I'm here working on this Honda real quick, um, show you guys that in a second, doing another motor job, um, but I was on a live stream with the Rust Belt mechanic the other day and everybody was talking about, you know, mechanics really don't know how to talk to customers and all that, you know, I mean, I might own the building, I might own the shop, and, you know, I'm a mechanic first. I mean, it's, you know, I, I worked on these cars, I came up and, you know, became an owner, and yes, I still work on cars, but I still talk to customers. I got to sell jobs, you know, uh, my wife sells jobs, we all sell jobs to customers, and over the years, I've gotten better and better, but I just wanted to bring up a couple points to kind of help what helps me either sell the job or just get along with customers. Um, so I'll kind of take you guys through the process. We'll pull this thing in. It's like a 2008 or 2009 Volkswagen Jetta. He's got brake noise, not sure what it is. Uh, we'll bring it in, get it up on the rack, find out what it needs, maybe price it out. We'll set up the camera. I'll, I'll put the guy on speakerphone and uh, you know show you how I sell this job to him. It's, uh, you know, it's one of these things I'm pretty sure he's gonna buy it, but it kind of just show how I talk to customers and then uh, we'll talk a little bit after it. Check out this Honda, guys, for you guys. Uh, Obviously living in the Rust Belt, had a few uh, people ask me why didn't I pull that Ford motor out of the top. You know, we do drop cradles here when we have to though. You know, obviously this, uh, you know, 05 Odyssey, whatever it is, this motor ain't coming out through the top. <laughs> There's just not enough room in this one. So drop the cradle, trans, everything. I don't drop the struts, um, you know, drop the rack and all that stuff. Get this thing switched over, waiting on the motor. I didn't really film this one, guys, because I just, uh, you know, I didn't think, uh, I had to get it done. I, I, I didn't have enough time to film and all that stuff. This guy, I got a deadline on this one. I got to have this thing done pretty much uh, by Thursday. So probably a couple late nights getting this one done. But cradle drop, no problem with the rust. A little bit of rust, just some mileage on this one too, but all the frame bolts came out all right. Um, it's going pretty smooth so far. So... But let me get this uh, let me get this jet in real quick. We'll get it uh, we'll get it on the rack, find out what it needs, and then uh, we'll get you guys set up. Call this customer, see if we can sell a job. I'll show you guys how I talk to customers as a mechanic first. I'm a mechanic first, then an owner. All right, guys, I got this thing pulled in, um, got in it, started it up, didn't even have my foot on the brake and you could hear this sucker grinding. Um, I always check the calipers, check the hoses. Uh, I peeked at the backs, the backs were done. He had mentioned that when he dropped it off too, the backs were just done recently, so nothing going on in the back. But up here, um, definitely looks like th these things are locking up up here. Uh, caliper went, about half in and then stopped, uh, cracked the bleeder, still didn't go in, definitely need some calipers. I'm gonna write this thing up for CPR, calipers, pads, and rotors. I'm also gonna put the hoses on here, um, see if I can get the hoses, I'm gonna add that on the invoice. Get ready to give this guy a call. The other side, this side, pretty much the outboard pad was completely gone. The other side, it's crazy, pretty much, looks brand new if you guys are catching that so um, I'm gonna give this guy a call uh, probably gonna catch him off guard he kinda when he came here to drop it off he kinda asked me for a couple estimates you know pads and rotors type deal you know I threw some prices at him so you know once he finds out he needs these calipers and hoses you know obviously that's gonna double it triple it so you guys should be able to get a good uh, get a good understanding of how I talk to my customers and uh, kind of explain to them what's going on. I will give them the option. I will give them options though. So let me get you guys set up in the office, get this guy on the line. All right guys, so I just priced this thing out and uh, it's about 600 bucks for front CPR with the hoses, labor. Um, 
comes to you know 593.44 that's taking care of both hoses uh, pads front pads front rotors the calipers the labor and all that stuff and uh, you know if that seems expensive it's because my labor rates high in this area if that seems cheap hey I, I get a good deal on parts so never mind the price in your area you know different shops differ so um, but that's for the fronts like I said I am gonna give the guy an option if he wants um, to do just one caliper and one hose I also use that technique as a selling point to sell the $600 job as opposed to just doing one caliper and one hose and then cal and then pads and rotors on the front that comes to 467.70 but you guys if, if he's interested in it, you'll see how I play that to sell both rotors both calipers both hoses and the set of pads um, you know I, I play I play it to uh, help me sell the bigger job you know always give them options though you don't I'd rather give them options and sell them something than nothing at all. So, but uh, let's get this guy a call. Get I'll get you guys set up here on the tripod. Get him on speaker real quick. If he misses a call, I'll try to have. If he's not around, I'll leave him a message. Try to have my phone on me and then turn the camera on when he calls back. Show you guys how I sell this. See if we can get it. Hey Paul, it's Jim from Highline. Hey, how are you? Good, good. So I got the uh, Jetta in, kind of got a look over it and uh, see what's going on. I definitely, definitely heard the noise when you dropped it off here. Said it was making noise. Can definitely hear that. It's the front brakes. Um, so I priced it up. This is, uh, it's funny because you know I'm pulling it apart after inspecting it. That left front is terrible. That's the side that's grinding on you. You look over on the other side and it's just normally worn out. So something, okay. you know, something failed on that left front. It's a caliper. Um, you know, it's locking up. It's that's what originally failed on you. It got hot. The pad kind of stuck in there, and then it just got worse from there. What I'm going to recommend to you is obviously replacing the caliper. I know I gave you, I quoted you a couple prices, but you know, you do need those front calipers and the hoses. That's you know, the that's the best way to handle it. That's the best way to do it. Kind of wash your hands of it. You know, you're good. Pricing everything up. The rotors come in at about 43 bucks a piece. 40, you know, 43, 40. I got the set of pads, $69.99, that's a lifetime warranty. Uh, I got labor on here, you know, bleeding the brakes. The calipers kind of what get you, they come in at $86.79, and then you got both brake hoses that come in uh, about $30 bucks a piece. So, um, I mean, it's, it's, it starts to stack up a little bit there, you know. Sure. Uh, but all that would come to uh, doing both, both calipers, you know, rotors and pads with the labor, you're looking at around uh, $593.44. That's for the fronts. Okay. I know that's kind of a lot to take in, and it's a little different from what I, you know, what I had quoted you. But you know, it, it, it was bad. I, I'm glad you got here safely, but you know, it was bad pulling it in. You could see something got hung up. That caliper failed up front there, and it just overheated everything up there. Yeah. So I'm able to get uh, everything. I could probably have this done today for you. I'm able to score everything. The hoses. I found the calipers. My pads. Obviously, you got the lifetime warranty on them. And then the rest of it's pretty much just labor and rebleed in the system after putting on the calipers. Okay, so it's basically six six hundred out the door. Well, yeah. I mean, it's five ninety three forty four. You know, you got some taxes there and all that stuff. But uh, you know, I, I try to bring it down, give you a deal as much as I can here. But it's the calipers that got you. You know, this would be like I said, it'd be a two fifty two hundred fifty dollar break job. But needing those calipers and putting those hoses on there, the best way to take care of it, that's what gets you get you kind of up there in the price. Okay, then yeah, we'll just. We'll just go for it. Okay, I'll go ahead and get everything ordered. I'll give you a buzz once I get this thing test driven. It's all set for you, okay? Okay, you think we'll have it today? Or oh, I, yeah, there should be no problem. I'll have this thing done probably in the next few hours. Okay. Okay, Paul, we'll talk to you real soon. All right, thanks. All right, bye-bye. All right, guys. So uh, I hope you guys heard his voice on there. Um, like I said, he was a first-time customer. You know, I probably, you could hear him pause on there. I probably hit him upside the head with, uh, you know, the price. But, you know, it's, it is what it is. You know, you want to get the brake job done right the first time. 
you know, it's pretty much just explain to them what's going on first. You got to tell them the good in the job too. Tell them, hey, you know, your back brakes are looking good. You got to, you don't just want to pick their car apart and tell them all the bad on their car. You tell them some of the good on their car too. You know, hey, you need, you need front brakes, tires. You know, your car needs a lot of work, but hey, the tires are good. Your exhaust is looking good. You know, you give them the good and the bad. You don't want to just sit there and bash their car and tell them they need a whole bunch of work. Um, also, another tip is to. Uh, you know, get on the customer's level. You know, I get customers walk in here, you know, you can kind of get a first impression on you see they're a church goer or something like that. You know, talk to them about church or something. You, or, you know, you see, a, you see a stoner walk in, you know, or a hippie or something like that. You know, get on their level. Talk to them like you would want someone to talk to you, you know. You know, try to relate with them. It helps, it helps you sell, you know, it helps you get along. It helps the customer trust you more, you know. It's, uh, you want to get to know the customer personally first as a person then you could think of them as a customer and sell, sell it to them a job as a customer. But, you know, that's just the tips and tricks that I use. Um, I pretty much knew that job was going to be in the bag. I just figured with me giving them prices, I don't know, there's a little bit of rust on the car. I don't know where, he, you know, I didn't quiz him before he left, so I didn't know where he wanted to be with his car. But, you know, sometimes you get those people like, oh, I'm going to sell the car. I don't, you know, just piece it together for me and I'll do one caliper, one hose. Can I only do one pads on one side? You know, you get customers like that sometimes, so... All right, guys. So yeah, and then you notice when I was talking to them, you know, when I was giving them the pr price on the rotors and the and the calipers and all that stuff, you know, I was giving them singly the prices. You know, I was saying forty three a piece. I was saying, uh, you know, for the for the rotors, they're forty three bucks a piece. I was saying the calipers, they're eighty six bucks a piece. And then another little tip that I use, you know, when you give them the total, I don't say five hundred ninety three dollars and forty four cents. You know, you could say five ninety three forty four. <laughs> I know that's funny, it's, but it sounds, it doesn't sound like as much, you know, and obviously it does work. I, I've, I've tested it, it does work, um, you know, saying the numbers first and then the change afterwards, it's, it sounds better, you know. Would you rather pay five ninety three forty four dollars or $593.44? I know, guys, it, it works. It, it does work. Um, you could tell by the guy's expression on the phone that I caught him off guard. He wasn't ready. You know, he thought about it. You could tell. I waited. I paused. I let him think about it. You know, see where he wanted to be. Kind of quiz him and see where he wanted to be on his car. Um, didn't even have to get to the point of offering him the one caliper and one hose because, you know, I was feeling him out. I could tell he wanted to do it. You know, when he probably heard it in my voice. Okay, hey, this guy knows what he's doing. I can trust this guy. Um, Let's just go ahead and get the job, get the work done, whether he wanted to or not. So, but uh, you know, if he was on the fence about it and like, yeah, well, you know, I don't know, I'm gonna get rid of the car, or um, I just spent so much on the back brakes and all that stuff, you know, then I would have gave him the option to maybe do one caliper, not recommended, um, one hose, not recommended, but uh, you know, and let him know it's not recommended. I put it in the notes on the invoice, not recommended. So, but you do that, give them options. You do that to help them save money. You know, not everybody has the finances to fix their car all the time. These cars are expensive to maintain sometimes. You know, it's gas prices around here are crazy enough as is, you know, let alone maintenance and everything else, insurance, parking, tags, all that stuff. So, but, uh, but yeah, guys, hope you got something out of that. All right, guys, it's about an hour later. Got the calipers, pads, and rotors done. New rotors, new calipers, new hoses. Bled it all out. System's all bled, bled all the air out of it. Give this thing a quick test drive. Give the guy a call. Didn't want to bore you guys with, uh, you know, knocking out a quick brake job. I mean, it's, you know, nothing fancy. Just calipers, pads, and rotors. But all right, guys, just wanted to do a quick one. Like I said, uh, you know, the other, the other day, the live stream, you guys brought up some good points about talking to customers. You know, even, even though I'm an owner, I'm a mechanic first. You know, if I wasn't a mechanic, I wouldn't be an owner. You know, being a mechanic is what got me here, what bought my shop, what bought my house, what supports me and my family. So, but, uh, you know, hope you guys got something out of that. Like I said, I, uh, you know, I learned a lot through a lot of mentors and, you know, some of my old service writers, you know, I would watch them. I would, I would see the way they talk to customers. You know, the things I liked, I would, I would take and I would make it my own. The things I didn't like, I didn't use, you know. Um, and then obviously me just being me, I talk to them as a normal person. You know, these people come in and, you know, a lot of times, most of my customers I know by name, for crying out loud, I know where they live. You know, whether I, I drop them off at their house or my wife's dropped them off at their house, you know, these, these people, you know, they're, they're people first, you know, and, and I can truly say that some of my customers are friends than their customers. So it's just, it's the key to success. You know, friends, family, they, they do work with me too. You know, they make, I make money off them just as much. So. Um, 
But yeah, guys, hope you guys like it. Quick tips. Leave down in the comments if uh, you know you got any tips the way you guys sell jobs, or you know, let me know if you guys can't talk to customers. You know, I, I understand why. You know, it, it's uh, it's definitely something you got to be cut out and doing. Um, you know, because a lot of these customers they're rough, man. These customers, uh, you get some rough ones. They're rough to talk to. They're rough to uh, to sell jobs to and things like that. You know, but I usually judge them. I can tell. You know, when a customer wants to know what's wrong with their car, I could usually tell and I'll explain to them what's wrong. The customers that don't care, they just, they just want to pass emissions or they just want, don't want to hear noise when they go over bumps and stuff like that, I could usually tell and I don't explain to them, hey, this is how much your car is going to cost to fix, this is how much it's going to be, I'll have you done in such and such time, here you go. Other ones, they want to know. They want to see the used parts, they want to, I take them out here, I'll show them the brakes. If the guy was here, I would show them how bad his brakes looked. Um, but you know, it's definitely just a, a failed caliper. Uh, maybe a clogged hose, you know, I really don't care. I sell the calibers and the hoses to be on the safe side, you know. CYA, they say, cover your ass. So, as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget October tool giveaway coming up. I'm getting excited about it. Can't wait to uh, pick a winner there. Um, cross your fingers. I hope everybody can win, but uh, we'll get a winner going here uh, real shortly. And then uh, don't forget about the 2K, the stickers available. Um, everything else, we'll check you guys in the next one. Signing out.